Hi, I'm Mark from the Home Depot Rental Center. When your landscaping project calls for relocating or repositioning sod, expanding or establishing flower beds, or creating walkways and patios, the Klassen Sod Cutter can help you get the job done fast. This powerful and easy to use sod cutter will deliver the precise cut you need. The blade is placed at the center of the machine, which ensures for a more consistent and level sod cut. With the depth setting and blade engagement levers at the operator's position, there's never a need to put your hands near the cutting area. Now before you get started, as with the safe operation of any power equipment, be sure you're wearing the proper safety gear, including safety glasses, durable work gloves, hearing protection, and work boots. The first thing you'll want to do is evaluate the area and clear it of any debris, like hoses, toys, or any object that could cause damage or injury. You'll also want to be aware of and mark obstacles like sprinkler heads or areas where sod cutting will be a problem or too risky, such as mud, tree roots, and steep hills. Most importantly, while operating the equipment, keep pets and others, especially children, away from the area. Once you have your area ready, you can start up the sod cutter. Before starting the engine, make sure the cutter blade lever and the wheel drive lever are in the off or upward positions with the blade raised. To avoid injury, never place your feet or other body parts under the blade while starting the engine. Now to start the sod cutter. First, turn the fuel valve to the open position. Then move the choke into the closed position. Turn the ignition switch to on. Then pull the recoil starter slowly until the engine starts and let it warm up. After the engine starts, slowly move the choke to the open position. You'll want to allow the engine to run for at least a minute before you start operation. Before cutting into your sod, you'll want to select the correct cutting depth. This can be set up to two and a half inches. Loosen the knob from the depth gauge plate located under the height adjustment bar and set it to the correct height setting. Once you have the desired setting, tighten the knob. The most common cutting depth is an inch and a half. Next, push the cutter blade handle forward toward the engine. Raise the main handle upward so the front nose of the sod cutter rests on the ground. And keeping a hand on it, loosen the half inch handle nut and lower the height adjustment bar to rest on the depth gauge. Now tighten the half inch handle nut securely so it won't loosen with the vibration of the machine. Once tightened securely, go to the back of the machine and lower the handle until the cutting blade rests on the ground. Now as you lower the machine, depress the throttle so that the blade cuts into the ground and then release the throttle. You're now ready to cut sod. Lower the wheel drive handle. Squeeze the throttle to begin. Exercise extreme caution when changing direction on slopes. Don't get too close to sharp drop-offs or operate the unit on excessively steep inclines. Travel up and down slopes at a 45 degree angle rather than across to prevent the unit from tipping over. Also, make sure the blade is in the raised position when crossing surfaces like sidewalks or driveways. At the end of each cutting pass, lift up on the main handle to bring the blade out of the sod. With the handle lifted and continuing to give it throttle, pivot the sod cutter on the front drive wheels and turn the unit around to the next position of cut. When your job is completed, move the wheel drive lever to the off position. Lift up on the machine while depressing the throttle so that the blade cuts out of the sod and allow it to shake off loose debris. Release the throttle, then raise the cutter blade lever to the off or upward position. Loosen the half inch handle nut on the upper right side of the sod cutter and raise the height adjustment bar. Then retighten the handle nut securely. Move the wheel drive lever to the on or downward position. Slowly pull the throttle and drive the unit back to the transport vehicle or trailer. To stop the engine, turn the engine switch to off and turn the fuel valve to the closed position. Now when you're ready to return the sod cutter back to the rental center, be sure to clean all debris from the blade and tires with a garden hose. Make sure you secure the sod cutter to your transport vehicle or trailer to prevent injury or damage and put the wheel drive lever in the on or down position to act as a brake. Visit your local Home Depot or homedepot.com rentals to learn more about the best tools for your next project.